Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Revenge by Josh A. It's it's really, really, really good. So I was planning to make this earlier, but I had to go do laundry. So now I'm back and hopefully I can upload this by the time I'm finished recording this. Hopefully it doesn't take long, but yeah, I love it very very much as much as i do of all of his songs he just keeps on popping and impressing me every every time number one i really gotta say i love his art in the background whoever is his artist design or even if he's the one that designed this this is a really nice design and i i i happen to now notice that each of his designs that he puts on the background it really fits in um the how is it not the theme of the song but like like it contributes really well with the beat and his lyrics that goes along with it and it's very very fire like bro even in the intro is fire his the song is fire the lyrics the fire the intro fire like bro there's there's so much to it so I went towards the lyric, lyrics from uh, Genius, if you guys don't go there. I went to it at, right after this song. I don't really look it up before because I want to look or hear the song first and then look at the lyrics to see like any meanings that I can find and point out. Firstly, the intro, fire, <laughs> as always. So the verse, uh, ag, um, the verse has uh, some really good balance there and there, but, which I really enjoyed. I was like... The beat that he uses, the beat, oh my gosh, it got me so turned up. Like, the beat that he uses, I feel like the same type of vibe I'm hearing from this is just from when he did Outbreak or Fearless. That's the type of vibe I'm getting from listening to Revenge. Like, it's like the same feeling that you would listen to Fearless or um, Outbreak, which is, like... I feel like in the same contribution right there. So yeah, I was getting like that type of vibe when I was listening to it over and over because bro, I just it's just really it's just really really nice. So the second verse, it was really good until I it, until he said drop disgrace didn't feel so great. So I went r dark, really had to find my way. So I think like how when he dropped this grace, I thought it was just a song. He surprised me, and I'm pretty sure he surprised everybody else with um with having disgrace as his own album. But drop this grace and did it feel so great? So I feel like he, what he means by this, like he didn't do it the best that he can, or he or he thinks is no better than his other albums. I don't know. I really love his all his albums that he made so far. And so I went to dark, really had to find my way maybe to get better at making more albums or I, I, I don't I don't know all too much about that um little part right there. But um yeah we move on a little bit deeper into the out um Eh, not deeper to the album. What the hell am I e even saying? I don't know. But the chorus, I just want my revenge. I want nothing else. Long as I live, they are never going to see me fail. I just want my revenge. I want nothing else. Long as I live, they're never going to see me fail. So I can't, I don't understand what he means. I want my revenge. It, it, I, I, uh, I can't, I can barely talk. I feel like it has, this message is from to someone or from, or not for, it's from him. Josh made the song. It's just that I feel like this is a message towards, like, towards, towards someone or, or just something. I feel like he's just pushing, like, he wants to push his limits more of what he can make with his music. I feel like it's some, something like that. And then, long as I live, they're never going to see me fail. It's like, you know, when he's alive, just like, or not when, he is alive, not saying he's dead. As he is living and breathing, he's going to continue dropping fire songs and never failing, grinding so hard. I, lo I love this man and everything. So, um, the other part of verse 3 this one really, really got me thinking, um, particularly when he says this. Better get your flow right. You must forgot I'm a low life. 2019 dropped fearless. I'm hitting them with the next let them feel this. Uh. So, 
when he says you must feel you must forget on my low life, I'm pretty sure he's talking about the or he's referencing the collab that he did with um J. Kill, which is another good artist I listen to as well. Um I just uh I j eh. I just listened to his uh, new song all along. I'm gonna talk about that um, in, another, in another video. I should should keep that one updated as well. But yeah, I feel like yeah, they both made a song called Low, Low Life to, um, together, and it's really nice. So I feel like he's making a reference that yeah, he made a song, or it's just that he's just an ordinary man, ordinary you know guy who makes music or something. He his is like low life like for me is like your life doesn't have well not that doesn't have meaning um it's not that noticeable or recognizable it's like your life is just like everybody else's life like pretty normal or anything nothing new or special in that sense and then 2019 dropped fearless so yeah he did drop fearless in 2019 and what i and it's it's a good song i really gotta say so <clears throat> so i think that he is um topping topping fearless off just like you know here here's fearless all right well, what what could be better than fearless just just revenge like it's just topping that off so i f feel like i i feel like he's ma making that reference that i'm gonna hit him with the next lex um le next let him feel this so yeah, I feel like he's um, telling us that he made Fearless and now he made Revenge. That's sort of giving the type of feeling you will listen to Fearless, but just like better in that way that he can make it better, that can make you have the exact same feelings as you would have of listening to Fearless, but like, I don't know, maybe better than that. I don't, I don't really, I don't really know. I could, I could be right. I could be wrong about this. But anyways, I enjoyed the song so, so, so much. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really wondering if, th if he's planning on making an album with this song. But when I made better things, someone commented that, that Bless Four should be a thing. Like, yes, it should be a thing. But I don't know if this song should be in its own album or with the album or with the song uh better things you know i may i may might make a video of predicting the next album he might make i don't know if that's something you guys would want to see let me know down below in the comment section about that and also let me know in the comment section down below about this song and everything if you guys enjoyed or not i swear if you don't enjoy it then i don't know what the hell you are listening to look at the description for the lyrics if you guys want to go read some of the lyrics that he put on on his song and the song itself revenge by josh a and then the song low life if you guys want to go listen to that that he made with jay kill and then fearless just for the fun of it if you guys want to go listen to that as well just go for it so you can understand what i'm saying when i'm when i'm what i'm saying when i said it's just like the type of vibe you get from listening to Fearless. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tendigo C39, and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.